What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports, back again with another one. The Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury saga continues. Another day go by, and the fight is not signed. Another weekend goes by, and the fight still not signed. Eddie Hearn, <laughs> who I like to call Eddie the Con Artist, CEO of Matchroom Boxing. Soon to be exclusively with the zone in the US and the UK. Despite him not wanting to admit that, I, I've heard that that deal was done months ago, that he's leaving and going to the zone. But he still has a couple of fights he's got to do with Sky Sports, and he don't want to ruffle no feathers when he knows he's got to put on two events to finish out his contract with Sky Sports. But that's neither here nor there. Eddie Hearn is uh, in that old familiar playbook about talking about a lot of things to the media, promising a lot of big things to the media, saying a lot of stuff to the media, exaggerating a lot of things to the media. But when you uh, open the curtains and really look what's inside, it's not what it seems that it's not what he's portraying in front of that camera. In those interviews. Eddie Hearn is playing games with this Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, undisputed fight. And he's doing similar things that he did in Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder failed negotiations. Remember when he said, hey, that fight is 75% done. When he hadn't even really reached out to Wilder and his team. Wilder sent Eddie Hearn a $50 million deal. Not Eddie Hearn, but sent Anthony Joshua, his prime fighter, a $50 million deal. 50-50 on the pay-per-view. And Eddie Hearn and his daddy, Barry Hearn, a.k.a. Papa Hearn, made Anthony Joshua turn down that fight. Because Anthony Joshua has no say in who he fights. Whatever match rooms say is going to be a next opponent, that's who AJ going to fight. AJ ain't calling no shots. You think AJ wanted to fight Alexander Povetkin? Nah, he ain't want to. I don't miss me with all that. Oh, the WBA ordered him to fight him. He had to fight him. He's going to lose his belt. Yeah, that was after Eddie Hearn played games with Shelly Finkel and Deontay Wilder. You know, waiting, waiting, waiting to send the email, waiting, waiting days and days to answer emails. And when they sent the contract, amended contract with a few uh, things that they wanted to get answered, Eddie Hearn played games, was answering those uh, questions and sending the uh, contract back and messed around. And the WBA was getting tired of uh, playing a cat and mouse game. And they, uh, they said, look, you know, let Eddie tell it. And it was a wilder team that was uh, dragging their feet, and they came on in, you know, at the behest of Eddie Hearn and, and uh, forced that uh, mandatory fight for Alexander Povetkin versus Anthony Joshua. Now, he's doing some of the same things here. All this fight's 90% done between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. But then when you listen to Frank Warren, who is uh, Tyson Fury's UK promoter, he says, no, nah, it's not 90% done. We haven't even got a contract. But Eddie Hearn said both parties have got a contract. Both parties have agreed to everything on the contract. How are you going to agree to everything on the contract when you haven't even received a contract yet? He's playing games, everybody. He's doing similar things than what he did in the Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder fight. He's just playing a different game. He's playing games. I'm not saying he, didn't, he don't want to fight between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury like he didn't want to fight between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. I'm not saying that because I think he's going to have to eventually do that fight because if this fight don't get done, oh, you're talking about the curtains getting peeled, getting open. The curtain's going to be in, open and it's going to be on full display. So we're going to look at two different scenarios. When Wilder fought Fury, one and two, it didn't take this long. It didn't take all this dragging out, promising it's going to get done in the next couple of days. It got done quick, fast, in a hurry. So if both sides really want to get a fight done, it'll get, it'll get done. Now I understand that we're dealing with a different dynamics with the pandemic. You got countries that are up under different uh, protocols, safety protocols, and different uh, calls as far as uh, what kind of crowds they can have in a particular country. I know the Middle East has got hit real hard with the COVID-19. So they're not 100% up and running. And they're taking the uh, being matchroom boxing and uh, – Top rank boxing, Queensberry promotion, guys that are behind trying to get this fight done. They've got to, uh, you know, put a fight out and set it up in a future date. But you don't know what their future holds as far as uh, when is this pandemic going to get fully under control. You got the vaccines out. 
but it still is going to take time for this thing to get control while people feel safe and confident that they can have large gatherings for sporting events. So why don't he just, just say that? Now you got this uh, site deal getting, getting leaked. Because everybody was like, where the money? Where's the money? You keep saying that we've uh, got this uh, venue and a location and both sides agreed to the deal. Where, where, what's, what's the hold up? And then you see this site deal getting announced. $150 million site deal. AJ going to get $75 million and Tyson Fury going to get $75 million. Okay. If that's the case, what Eddie Hearn getting? What Frank Warren getting? What Bob Arum getting? Are oh, they just doing this for uh, fun, just to be a part of the biggest fight, according to Eddie Hearn, in boxing history? Come on, man. That's, a, that's, that's, a, that's bogus. That ain't the truth. That's smoke and mirrors. Because this is a $150 million site fee. Both fighters ain't going to get 100% of the site fee. You got to pay managers, trainers. You got to pay the promoters. It, uh, Tyson Fury got like three different people he got to pay. He got to pay Fr Bob Arum. Frank Warren, MTK Global. You know, Eddie Hearn used to always talk about Deontay Wilder. Uh, Deontay Wilder got like five managers. You know, he got to pay. Well, shoot, Tyson Fury got three people he got to pay. He got a bunch of people. So it ain't going to be no 75, 75. So that's not a true and accurate article that came out. But I would be a bit surprised if Eddie Hearn leaked that. You know, to keep the uh, charade going. You know what I'm saying? The fight is not done. It's not close to being done until the contract is done. That's when it's done. And you got to understand that Anthony Joshua, make no mistake about it, is the head fighter, the number one fighter, the cash cow fighter in matchroom boxing. You take Anthony Joshua away from matchroom boxing, matchroom boxing ain't uh, nothing but a regional, domestic level promotional company. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He knows that. They're basically a UK promotion to come. They're on the same level. That's basically what Frank Warren is. Frank Warren got some good fighters. Don't get me wrong. He got um, George George, Daniel Dubois. He got Tyson Fury, too. You take Tyson Fury away from uh, BT Sports and Queensbury Promotion, he in the same boat. So both of these, but it seems like Frank Warren is willing to put it all on the line and put his number one fighter against Matchroom's number one fighter. But he's not out here spreading uh, <laughs> propaganda. And, and saying that the fight is pretty much done and both sides have agreed to it and it's basically uh, dotting the I's and crossing the T's according to what Eddie Hearn says. He's not saying that. He's saying I haven't even gotten the contract yet. Hopefully I get it in a day or two. He said they say they sent it. Eddie Hearn said he sent it last week. It don't take no week to get this sent to Frank Warren. Ain't y'all in the same country? Y'all both in the UK? You act like Frank Warren is in uh, US. Hey, and you over there in the UK, uh, Frank Warren is in Australia somewhere, and you got to uh, send him the contract. And even even then, it ain't gonna take no long. What you sending it by mail? Or what you doing? What you sending it by horse? What the hell? How long is it gonna take for Frank Warren? Just saying, we ain't back in the golden era. We ain't back in the uh, horse and carriage days. You understand me? We ain't back then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's an email. You know, it's a mail. You can send that contract within minutes. He, he, uh, Eddie Hearn can send the contract to uh, Frank Warren and Frank Warren can uh, receive the contract. It don't take this long, people. Wake up and smell the coffee. It smell good. Decaf, I think. Smell it. It's smoking mirrors, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Eddie Hearn is the best smoking mirrors uh, promoting the game. Not, again, not to say he ain't trying to make the fight because I think he's going to have to make this fight because if this fight don't get done, it's, all eyes is going to be on him. As far as why you can't get these big fights done, Bob Arum and Al Heyman came to agreement on two mega fights with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. And you can't come together on one fight with Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury knowing that in the past you couldn't come together on a fight with Deontay Wilder, a fight that you really didn't want in the first place. Your dad said that y'all was on a 10-fight plan a 10-year plan, my bad, a 10-year plan. And you weren't looking to fight Deontay Wilder anytime soon. You say Deontay Wilder turned down a $120 million zone deal to fight Anthony Joshua. But you failed to mention that Anthony Joshua not even signed to the zone. Just like this new deal that you got with the zone, this nine-figure deal, according to you, got the, got with the zone, guess what? Anthony Joshua is not on that the zone deal. He's not in that the zone deal. Guess what? Dillian White is not in that zone deal. And that's his two top pay-per-view fighters. 
So they're going to keep that pay-per-view uh, outlet going with uh, Matchroom Boxing. And that the zone deal is for his other fighters up under the Matchroom Boxing banner. It's smoking mirrors, people. That's what it is. It's smoking mirrors. And don't fall for the okie doke. Look at what's real, what's real and what's actually happening. Now, if this fight don't get done by the end of this week coming up, we're, we're Sunday right now. If this fight don't get done by the end of this week, then let's just uh, everybody move on. You got Alexander Osik waiting for his shot at the title. Set that fight up and quit playing game, and then you revisit a fight with Tyson Fury if you're successful against Alexander Usyk and at the end of 2021 when everything should be up and running for the most part. Everybody should be at 100% uh, open all across this world, and you can just pick and choose and go to the highest bidder. And then Tyson Fury can fight Deontay Wilder. Take care of that because Deontay Wilder gave him opportunity two times. Take care of that fight. You can put that fight over there in Vegas. Vegas is going to be up and running 100% after June the 1st. Put that fight up in Vegas. Or maybe you can put that fight up in the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. As they seem to be on the brink of uh, hosting a big fight with Errol Spence Jr., a.k.a. Free Smoke, in a either a uh, unification matchup with WBA champion Jordanus Ugas, or he's going to fight the Filipino icon, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. That fight is going to take place on July the 10th. You can put it in that venue or you can put it in the Alamo Dome. Put it there. And that fight could take place possibly there. In the Alamo Dome. Where Javante Tank Davis fought Leo Santa Cruz. Did a successful Showtime pay-per-view. Did over 220,000 pay-per-view buys. Let me know your thoughts about Eddie Hearn playing games. Once again, and don't fall for the okie doke. Get the contract sent over to Frank Warren. It should take this long. And make the fight happen. Quit trying to drag your feet. Quit trying to portray yourself in front of me as a guy that's working 25 hours, 8 days a week to get the fight done. When the fight should have been already done, they agreed to 50-50 a long time ago. Months ago. And here we sit here and the fight's not done. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section about Eddie Hearn playing games with Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. Let me know your thoughts. And let me know if you think this fight's going to get done or you think both guys are going to move on and fight other opponents. Joshua versus Usyk and Fury versus Wilder. Let me know your thoughts. And I say, if nothing happened by the end of this week, then it's time to move on and quit. Quit with the rabbit. Quit following Eddie Hearn down a rabbit hole about this fight pretty much being close. Let me know your thoughts about that. And hit the like button if you like the content of this video. And subscribe to JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. And I'll holler.